with that breaking news, multiple law enforcement agencies on the scene of a shooting involving a Hillsborough County deputy in Lakeland. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. According to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, the shooting happened as deputies were conducting surveillance of a wanted suspect. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline is on the story tonight. She joins us live from the scene. Rochelle? Yeah, we're just off of New Tampa Highway here in Lakeland, and this is where things ended for 27-year-old Francisco Cabrera, but this is a scene that's a few weeks in the making. According to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, he ended up on their radar a few weeks ago after committing a series of violent armed robberies. They say at that point they called in the ATF and a special task force to put him under surveillance. They say this morning, while he was under surveillance, he committed two violent carjackings, and that's when he noticed that police were watching him. Ultimately, he led police on a chase across multiple highways that ended here on New Tampa Highway in a gunfight. He shot at officers, officers shot back and he was hit. But even after being shot, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells us he was still pretty difficult to arrest. Uh, they remove him from the car. He's so combative that even after being shot, he has to be tasered. He's still being combative. Luckily, there's enough individuals and law enforcement here on scene that were finally able to overpower this subject and finally place him into custody. We're told just after that he was taken to a local hospital. We're told that he's currently in surgery, but he's expected to be okay. As far as his charges in this case, we're told he's facing multiple felony charges, including endangering the lives of several law enforcement officers. For now in Lakeland, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.